Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be creating this full face of makeup look that you see on myself using all mini makeup products. This has turned out super super gorgeous, loving how it looks on myself. These are all the tiny little mini makeup products that I use to create this makeup look on my face today. Look how adorable and cute each of these products look. I have a mix of high-end as well as affordable products. These days, even affordable brands like Sugar, Pack, Nykaa, etc. are bringing some beautiful and affordable mini makeup products. So I have definitely tried to include as many affordable products as possible in today's video. But it's definitely gonna be a mix of high-end as well as affordable products. So if you wanna know how I created this gorgeous makeup look using a full face of mini makeup products, then please do continue watching. So starting off with a cleansed face, I use my Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser to get rid of all the dirt and impurity. This is an amazing cleanser even if you have sensitive skin types and it maintains the pH level of your skin then to prep and moisturize my skin i'm using my nutriderm vitamin e moisturizing lotion which is really nourishing and acts as a beautiful pre-makeup base and applying it all over the face and neck and let it sink for a bit before i apply any foundation or anything like that then i'm gonna take my um cute little mini eyebrow definer from kalaba uh, i think this is in the shade chestnut and it is a very very well pigmented product as you can see here so a little bit goes a long long way but it's such a great affordable eyebrow product and I'm just combing through my brows here trust me the eyebrows will get better by the end do not worry um, then to prep my skin I'm gonna take the Nykaa prep me up primer in a tiny little tube I think Nykaa had released this very very recently and it really caught my eye so I bought it because this is such a lovely primer especially if you have an oily skin type. It does make your makeup last pretty pretty well and creates a very smooth and even canvas. So I'm applying the product and gently tapping into my skin so that it fills in all the open pores. For foundation, I'm using a very um, recent favorite foundation. This is the Smashbox Hydra foundation, I think it's called. This is a tiny little version. And this is in the shade 4.0, which is an exact, exact match to my skin tone. So I'm applying a little bit of the foundation all over the face, literally all over the face because I did not use any color corrector. So this is just gonna... Uh, even out my skin tone and help it look more flawless then I built up the coverage to get a desired coverage and this is how beautiful and flawless my skin looks after the foundation for concealer I have this uh, Tarte Shape Tip mini concealer but unfortunately this is in a very very pale shade I think it's called light sand so I'm just dotting a little bit of that concealer on the under eye and wherever I usually highlight and also on the eyelid region to slightly darken it up, I'm taking my foundation again and putting that right on top of the lighter shade of concealer just to balance everything out and so that the concealer doesn't look too white or ghostly on my skin because this is such a light shade of concealer for my skin tone. And then I'm going to blend it out using a concealer blending brush. Again, the Tarte Shape Tape is a very, very high coverage product. So a little bit goes a long, long way. And yeah. I'm just trying to blend everything out until everything looks super flawless and seamless and I kind of forgot to apply this eyeshadow primer before so I'm gonna apply the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer on the eyelids and just tapping it um, on top of the eyelids to add a bit of subtle sheen on the skin I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood uh, flawless filter in the shade 6.5 deep this is a beautiful very very soft um, glowy kind of a product so I'm just putting that only on the high points of my face and gently and slowly blending it out you can also apply it before your foundation underneath that way also it reflects a lot of light and gives your skin a beautiful healthy looking glow then to set everything in place did you know that pack made these tiny little um, translucent powders this is in a banana shade look at the difference um, in size so i'm taking a generous amount of the banana loose powder and putting that on the under eyes and to bake around the mouth area and also a little bit on the inner cheek region for eyeshadow i'm using the huda beauty nude rich mini 
eyeshadow obsessions palette you know what i mean so i'm picking up the beautiful rosy matte shade on a blending brush and putting that on the crease these mini eyeshadow palettes from huda beauty are amazing they are such great in quality they are the exact same quality as their bigger palettes but in a smaller little um, packaging with a limited amount of eyeshadows but they are great great eyeshadow palettes very well curated then i'm going to take a darker shade of brown and putting that on the crease as well as the outer corners of my eyes then i have this very cool uh, little product from nykaa this is their mini lip and um, eyeshadow thing it's a liquid uh, product i don't really remember the name of this product i'll put it in the description box but what i did was i just applied it at the outer corner and blended it out then i took this beautiful uh, pink shimmer eye shadow from the huda beauty palette and applying that using my finger on the eyelids and then to top it off i'm using the mac um loose pigment in the shade rose which is a duo chrome kind of a pigment it has pink and golden shift to it and again this is a tiny version and i love this pigment so i'm just putting that right on the center of my eyelids to make it pop more then i'm going to take this very beautiful deep cranberry blackberry kind of a shade again which is a matte shade and putting that very very close to my upper lash line using a pencil brush then i took the smashbox always on gel eyeliner kajal in a black shade this kajal pencil is much more pigmented long lasting dark and intense than the mac tiny kajal that you get in the market they are almost the same price but i prefer this one more because it's more pigmented and jet black so i put that on the uh, waterline on the lash line and on my upper lash line very very slightly just a slight definition and again i'm going to smudge it out using a pencil brush once i'm happy with the eye makeup work i'm just going to brush off the excessive loose powder on the under eye and on the rest of the face as well and i'm setting the rest of the face as well using the same translucent loose powder just to mattify it And then for mascara, I'm using this amazing mascara from Too Faced. This is not their uh, Better Than Sex mascara. This is their Damn Girl mascara, which is really, really nice. Even better than the other uh, Too Faced mascara. Look at how uh, much of volume and definition it gave my lashes. So I'm just trying to build up the volume. I did not apply any falsies for this look, and you can. see for yourself here that how much of a volume and definition these um this mascara has given my eyes i absolutely love this then to bronze up my skin i'm going to take this cute little mini bronzer from the brand glowish by huda beauty this is in the shade deep tan i love this product it's a beautiful glowy kind of a bronzer but it doesn't have any shimmer particles to it it just adds a subtle little sheen and glow to the skin so i'm just putting that on the perimeters of my face on the sides of the nose and also under my lower lip for blusher again i'm using the glowish by huda beauty mini blusher and this is in a berry shade very well pigmented and again a beautiful glowy product so i'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks this kind of um, acts as a blusher and a blush topper in one because it's a glowy product you can see the sheen on my cheeks as well and for highlight i have two different options from becca uh, one is opal and the other one is champagne pop but i chose the shade champagne pop which is my all time favorite and it is completely shattered and broken i tried to fix it a couple of times it again became broken so i'm just putting that on the all the high points of my face and also on the inner corners and my brow bone Moving on to the lips I'm taking this tiny little mini lip liner from Calaba this is the shade chocolate and it's a beautiful deep warm chocolatey brown shade and the formula is also amazing very creamy and rich and pigmented so I'm trying to overdraw my lips there are multiple options for lipsticks when it comes to minis a lot of high end brands have it but also these days a lot of affordable brands are also bringing up mini for example the pack one this is the retro matte mini uh, liquid lipstick in the shade broken heart which is a beautiful beautiful uh, muted reddish uh, pink kind of a color so i just put that all over the lips then i took this very very cute lacme matte melt liquid lipstick in the shade um brown souvenir which is one of my absolute favorite lipstick shades for dusky skin tone i'm just using that 
on the top of my lips to just mute down the previous color sugar cosmetics nika all these brands also make amazing mini liquid lipsticks do check it out and for lip gloss i took my two face lip injection extreme mini and here you will see the difference of the uh, full size as well as the mini product i love this product um, as a lip gloss on my lips all the time so i'm just putting that only on the center of my mouth it literally makes my lips go double in size within just a couple of minutes i absolutely love it and it is very very high in shine and to set everything in place i'm using my benefit professional mini uh, setting spray and just giving it a quick shake and just spraying that all over the face this is a beautiful soft matte uh, kind of a setting spray i really like it on my oily complexion and here is the final finished full face of makeup look using all mini makeup products and this is a proof that even when you use mini makeup products you can create a full face of glam because i quite loved the finished makeup look So you guys this is the finished makeup look using a full face of mini makeup product I didn't realize until filming this video that how much of mini makeup that I own in my makeup collection but absolutely loving the way this look has turned out a lot of berry and burgundy undertones which looks amazing on dusky complexions so this is a perfect example of how even mini makeup products can give you a beautiful full face of makeup look So this is it for today's video. I'll try to link each and every single product that I use in today's video in the description box down below. I really really hope that you guys found this video useful, helpful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. And we are super super close to hitting 1 lakh subscribers on my channel. I am planning to conduct a giveaway on my channel, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to my channel. So this is it. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.